if you're a man, franchise our buses, yes you can. I believe today's campaign uh, outside the Sheffield City region is to get the uh, elected mayor Dan Jarvis to uh, basically uh, bring public transport back into public ownership in a similar way to what they've done in Manchester. Uh, that's uh, achieved through the means of uh, franchising. Hello, it's really great to see everybody here this morning. Thank you so much for coming. I think the breadth of people here given it's a Friday morning and we're still subject to restrictions and all that sort of stuff, uh, just shows how much support there is for the, uh, the campaign for our buses to be brought back under public control. Uh, it's quite interesting that whenever Dan Jarvis talks about the buses, he actually acknowledges the pressure he's been coming under over the issue of franchising. There's an article in this morning's Barnsley Chronicle, which I know most of you won't have seen. He has a regular column there, and it's headed, you know, we need better buses. I think he's uh, st stolen the, uh, the slogan from us, hasn't he? Uh, and he actually says, I am aware that lots of people are calling for franchising. It is still an option. He's been saying this for three months. It's still an option on the table. What we're saying is he needs to commit to the idea of franchising and that then is the first step to what most of us, or if not all of us, actually want, which is public ownership. We need to move back to a situation we had in the 1970s and early 1980s before the privatisation of our bus services where buses were seen as a public service under public control, not just ownership. Because even the Tories acknowledge, don't they, in their bus strategy, that privatisation has been a disaster. Fares have gone up, routes have gone down, communities are isolated, passenger numbers have plummeted, car ownership and car use has gone up, with all the results of pollution and congestion as a result. Even the Tories say we need change. I've got a petition that I'm going to hand in this morning that's got almost 300 signatures on, which were collected basically at two pretty short sessions, one in Barnsley, one in Sheffield, where we had lots and lots of people coming up and saying, my bus service has been cut, I can't use it. I spoke to one woman who, need, who, when she wanted to visit her mother in a care home in another area of South Yorkshire, if she travelled by bus, it now takes her four hours to get to visit her mother. It used to take an hour. They cut the service, the direct service. We look at the issue of CO2 emissions. Transport is the, a, a major contributor, and of that, the majority comes from private transport, from private cars. Moving to more public transport is one way of starting to address the climate emergency. And the other thing is about communities and people who are isolated, people who can't get out because they don't have access to public transport. So there's a social need as well. We've had to put up with 35 years of privatisation and deregulation, which has seen the massive decline in the quality of our services, the extent of our services. It's seen a big, big drop in the number of people using public transport. It's now very expensive to travel when, I mean, I, I remember when I first started working on the buses here in 1981, we had a cheap fares policy, a progressive Labour local authority here in Sheffield, Doncaster, Rotherham and Barnsley that put some money into a decent bus service which ran all night, 24 hours a day, fantastic frequencies, new buses and crucially cheap fares. And we saw increases in the number of people travelling on those buses every year right up until deregulation in 1986. And we've had to put up with this history of the Tories ideology ruining our bus service ever since. But now we do have a chance to start on the road back to public ownership, which is where we should be. And that is by franchising our bus services. An opportunity that's now being granted by a Tory government that accepts, finally, after 35 years, it made a huge mistake back in 1986. And we need to take that opportunity. 
and Dan Jarvis, the City Region Mayor here, who's in these offices today, and the local authority leaders in Barnsley, Doncaster, Rotherham and Sheffield, had a fantastic opportunity last week when they met to decide how to respond to the government strategy paper. They could have said, we're going to go for franchising, and they didn't. What they said was, we're going to go for an enhanced partnership, but we're going to conduct a review and see what happens next. Well, that's frankly not good enough. We've got an opportunity to go for franchising. It should be obvious to the city region mayor that that's what we need to do. And we should be on the road starting the process that the planning and, 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 and the, the design of that franchising network now, because it takes some years to bring this into effect. And every week is a lost week. Every month is a lost week before we can bring in a franchise network. And let me just explain what franchising really means. It means that the bus service, the quality of the service, the timetables, the extent of the network is taken away out of the control of the private bus operators and it sits here with our public representatives. They can design the network. They can make sure it's a coordinated and comprehensive network. They can set the fares, they can set the timetables, and the private companies are then paid to run the service, and if they don't run it to a certain standard, they can be kicked out. Now obviously I would prefer to see us run the bus service as ourselves like we used to do, but this, and my union, the Unite the Union, agrees with me, says that this is at least the first step to bringing buses back into public ownership hopefully in the not too distant future. But the companies are struggling to keep the services going and they're talking about very, very big cuts in services once this COVID pandemic is over and some of that emergency funding which the government's given to the bus services starts to dry up. And the only way we can stop that happening is by the city region mayor taking back control and guaranteeing at the very least the service doesn't get worse than it is now and we can start to build up a better service from the future. And this campaign for better buses in South Yorkshire, I know is going to be there in those campaigns in the future. We're not going away. Do you hear that, Mr. Dan Jarvis? We're not going away. We're going to fight until we've got what we want, a world-class bus service for South Yorkshire. Hello, I'm Graham Jones, Burgundy for Clean Air Campaign. Now yesterday it was on Look North, uh, a breakfast show, that air pollution in Sheffield was 25% higher than it was pre-pandemic levels. And obviously we're campaigning again against air pollution, and yesterday was also um, clean, no, World Clean Air Day, Global Clean Air Day. And uh, we had discussions from the streets of Burgundy right up to the um, all all party parliamentary committee on clean air and discussions going on all around the world about this. It's a real, it's an emergency and it's been recognised by Parliament as an emergency and it's been recognised by Sheffield Council as an emergency. And um, it's caused by traffic pollution and 90% well, 90 of the world's population suffer as a result of it. And it causes a whole range of diseases including cancer, lung disease, heart disease, stroke, dementia, diabetes, and I could go on a long time about the disease it causes in adults, and also in children it causes asthma. So many classrooms now have a special cupboard for the inhalers for their kids, which never used to happen years ago, and also can cause infertility, so that children don't get to even to be born, and also low birth weight in children, and also failure of people's babies' lungs and brains to develop properly. We're facing, um, you know, it's, it's, it is an emergency, and it's caused by traffic. Um, it's worth just stressing that what they've gone for at the moment, the Sheffield City Region, is an enhanced partnership. And as far as I can work out, what that means is, they are saying we'll have better bus shelters, and we'll have more bus priority lanes, but they're not adopting any control on what buses run where. And what has happened up and down the country with enhanced partnerships in a number of areas, local authorities have done this and they've had state-of-the-art bus shelters and all the rest of it, and then the bus companies have slashed the services. You don't have control over the fares, over the routes, over timetables, under an enhanced partnership. Yeah.
Did Dan Jarvis not want to come out and get it personally? I, I, well, Martin says he's in there, but I'm not convinced. You know, he's an MP as well, so I don't know whether he's in Parliament today or not. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, and his office is right up. I've been, I have actually been into his office, so uh, yeah, it's a shame that he's not prepared to come down. But you know, yeah, we'll come back. Come we'll come back people, and uh, uh, and see if he'll actually. Uh, We're calling on Dan Jarvis to take back control of our bus services. I'm franchising now. What do we want? When do we want them? <laughs> this is the Better Buses for South Yorkshire campaign. We're fighting to get Dan Jarvis, the Mayor of South Yorkshire, to use his powers to bring our buses back into public control. Our bus services are in crisis. Fares go up, passenger numbers go down, routes are cut, communities are isolated, people are forced into using their cars even when they don't want to because the bus service is not fit for purpose. We need real change. We need public control and a commitment to public ownership in the future. The Better Buses campaign brings together trade unionists, campaigners, climate campaigns, clean air campaigns and individuals who want to see our bus services run properly as a public service for the community, not as a source of private profit where the needs of shareholders of companies like First and Stagecoach come before the needs of passengers and their communities. We've been down today to the Sheffield City Region offices handed in a petition calling on franchising. We have an active campaign in South Yorkshire. You can find us on Facebook, Better Buses for South Yorkshire. Look us up, support the campaign, find out what we're doing, and join the pressure to change our bus services for the better. We need better buses because they're good for people and they're good for the planet. Support the Better Buses for South Yorkshire campaign. Dan, Dan, you're our man, franchise the buses, yes you can. Dan, Dan, you're our man, franchise the buses, yes you can.